Hey guys, we are going to learn different ways to divide by twos. And I want you to see my cute little fuzzy guys and how they have how many antennas? Two, yay! So we're going to look first at what does dividing by two really mean? So let's look at this question. There are 10 hummingbirds and two feeders in Marissa's backyard. If there are an equal number of birds at each feeder, how many birds are at each one? So we need to look at the problem and we are going to figure out what we're looking for. Here's the question. How many birds are at each feeder? So if she has 10 hummingbirds and two feeders, we need to draw ourselves a problem. We're going to draw two circles, one, two, and these are going to be our feeders, okay? Those are going to be our feeders, and we are going to put in the number of hummingbirds. So there are 10 hummingbirds. Let's put a hummingbird here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I know I've used all my hummingbirds because there are 10 hummingbirds. And I had two feeders, feeder number one and feeder number two. So, how many birds are at each feeder? I just need to count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five hummingbirds at this feeder and five hummingbirds at this feeder. So, there are five hummingbirds at each feeder. Now, I knew that because I took my number 10, okay, and I divided it into two groups. So, here I'm dividing by two because I am making my groups. I made a group here and a group here, two groups, and I put the number of hummingbirds into two groups. So my number sentence, if we want to look at that, would be 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Now in this problem, we're going to draw a model to find out how many groups there are rather than how many are in each group. So let's look at this problem. There are 10 hummingbirds, again, in Tyler's backyard. If there are two hummingbirds at each feeder, how many feeders are there? We are not looking for how many birds at each feeder. We're looking for something different this time. We are looking for how many feeders there are, okay? So we know our important numbers again. We have 10 hummingbirds and two hummingbirds at each feeder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my hummingbirds at each feeder. So here's a hummingbird and here's a hummingbird. And if there's two hummingbirds at each, each feeder, I'm going to circle these two hummingbirds because they're at one feeder. Three, four hummingbirds. They're at another feeder. Five, six hummingbirds at one feeder. Here's another two hummingbirds. And to double check how many I have, I have two, four, six, eight. So I'm not done yet with my hummingbirds. And I need to make my 10 hummingbirds and put those two at a feeder. So the question, how many feeders are there? I have one, two, three, four, five. I have one, two, three, four, five feeders. If I have 10 hummingbirds and I divide them put them into groups of two at each feeder, I end up with five feeders. So in this problem, I was looking for how many groups, because it told me how many were in each group. Now let's take a look at our fun little picture here. There were 14 pictures submitted for the Snowball Challenge 2014. If I separate them into groups of two, how many groups will I have? <clears throat> so I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to separate these pictures of everybody into groups of two. So I'm going to put the circles and I'm looking for how many groups will I have all together. I have 14 pictures and I want them into groups of two. So let's do this together. I'm going to use yellow first and see if it shows up. Here's a group of two one. Here's a group of two. There's two groups. We're going to put Lakin over here with Dagan, Kaya and Abby. 
Macy and Tristan, Ryan and the girls, and Lauren and me. Let's go back and count how many groups I had. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven groups, so if I take my 14 pictures and I divide them into groups of two, I will have seven groups, okay? You guys looked really cute, by the way. Now here's a question. When I'm dividing by two, I wonder if there's anything to do with the number over here. Let's see if I, can I divide 19 monsters by two? Can I put 19 monsters into groups of two evenly? Let's try it out. Here's one group, two, three, four, five groups, six groups, seven groups, eight groups, nine groups. Oh wait, ah, what do I do with this dude over here in the corner? He's not two, that's really one. He might be two headed, but it's one monster. So how many groups do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine groups. I have nine groups, but then I have with one left over. I have nine groups with one left over. So mm, that's not even. I can't have another empty group. So look at this. This is uneven. This is an odd number. I cannot divide an odd number by two and have equal groups. Remember that. It has to be even numbers to be divisible by two. So let's look at different ways that we know we can divide by two. Let's look first at the one that we used the most. That was to model or draw. You can either draw the number of groups or draw the number in each group, as we did with the first two hummingbird problems. You can also skip count by twos when you're looking at the problem. So like we did with the hummingbirds, you can count by twos to get to that number. Use your fingers. Count how many times you need to count by two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I can get to that by skip counting five times. I can use the concept of doubles. If I know that I have 14 divided by two equals seven, then that is just two groups of seven, doubles, using your concept of doubles. And then finally, think half, okay? Think half. If I have a number and I'm gonna divide it by two, really, I'm dividing it in half, all right? So if I take 20 and I divide it by two, I'm dividing 20 in half. So that's going to be equal to 10. All right, those are some ways that you can divide by 2. So when you're looking at a division problem by 2, think of all of these ways. All right, now it's your turn to try it.